Well, here we are, Friday night football at the Hive. Bit of a proper autumn evening, big local crowd, first against fourth. Let's hope it's a good one. Early doors, Basildon attack down the left. Ball comes into Ramiah Mills, who holds off Macaulay joins before smashing it past Hughes. That's so easy for the, the Bees. Manager Chris Taylor will be dead happy. Two minutes in and Basil and go one up against the league leaders. Big Sam Aladici here. Love all that and out Basil and no tippy tappy straight for the throat. Tilbury half asleep. I'd be well pleased with that. Great work by Ruben Barlett and Tui, I think. Puts Jack McQueen on his heels and then just slips it to Mills. And the lad just holds joins off to give himself room for the shot. No chance for Hughes. Roy, you have to say big men who are quick can be unstoppable. We had Andy, Andy Carroll, and uh, on his day, Andy were unplayable. Ramia Mills can be like that. Basildon's debut goalkeeper, Max Spence, is the guy who has been brought by Chris Taylor to replace George Marsh. Very young, when he broke into the Barking first team, this is his debut at step four. At the other end, Tilbury's keeper, Dave Hughes, has to be smart to get down to Darren Asuka's low drive. Dave Hughes did well there as it looks like it touched off McQueen's foot. Hughes is a top, top keeper. The lad's won a lot in his time in the game. For me, I always want a keeper who's done a bit, you know, has that muscle memory of what's needed to win games. Hughes, he's done it, I believe, Sudbury and Bowers. He knows what's needed to win a game of football. Same as you, Roy, you need someone solid between the posts. I'm not so bothered like the modern coaches are about playing out. I just want a keeper who can stop it going in. Great cross from Trendle that Basildon managed to scramble away. Mills wins that from Clark. The ball falls to Ryan Richvon, who turns joins, but his shot is straight at Hughes. Still one nil Basildon. Dan Trendle showing quick feet there with the cheeky drag back. Spooner to Sam Bantic. Bantic's shot is saved at his near post by Max Spence. Good passage of play from Tilbury. I like that. Ollie Spooner's lovely way to pass, and Bantic strikes is on target. What I call front foot football. I'm with you on that, Sam. Direct and with purpose. Play ending with an attempt on goals. <laughs> McQueen into Reynolds. Jamie Reynolds heads on to Tuspoona. Bantic delivers, Dan Trendle, what a save from Spence, palms it onto the crossbar. Ryan Sammons hooks it clear, but that save shows why Taylor went and got the kid Max Spence from barking. Superb save to keep it out. Tilbury though are knocking a bit louder on the door. Tilbury are starting to assert themselves and Basel didn't have to thank Max Spence for it still being 1-0. Sam Brogan to Mills, Ramir Mills left footed looking for Esuka. Esuka, he finds Darren Esuka, 2-0 Basildon and against the run of play for the past 20 minutes. The beats are two goals to the good in this local derby. A good header from Darren Esuka, loops over Hughes. But maybe Alfie Fry got the wrong side of Esuka to allow the header. You could ask questions of Trendle for allowing Mills the time to cross the ball. Harrison and Wallace will be furious. Allowing a second goal in time added on, I'd be furious. Tilbury have given themselves a bit of an uphill task in the second half. Both teams unchanged. League leaders Tilbury did come back from four down earlier in the week against Haringey in the Velocity Cup and were three down against Newmarket and snatched a draw. 
They've got some previous, these boys. Sam Carter nicks it off Ruben Barlow at The player ran a long way without a challenge. Trendle to Hernandez, who hasn't really featured so far. Luke Edgar gets his head to it. Spence bundles Spooner's effort out for the corner. It's all Dockers now. Lou Clark at close range, blocked by Esuka. Two Tilbury subs are on. Kieran Jones and Lyndall Stewart for Carter and Joins. Jones to Trendle. Hernandez gets in behind Lorenzo Sapanara for his ninth goal in nine games. Tilbury pull one back and Chris Taylor will be asking, how did the prolific marksman go unchallenged in the box? Great cross, by the way. I think this Hernandez kid has all the tools. He can header it, shoot set pieces. I know he's on loan in that, but Tilbury, who lost Lou Manor, probably for the season, have found a gem in Alex. Uh, uh, sure, Sam. They had Alex before when they were at East Thurrock. They know him, he likes it at Chadfield, he likes him, he's playing and he's scoring for a footballer that's 90% of the game. Kieran Jones, he's some player to have on the bench. Terrific run. That's come out to Bantic, first time wide of the goal. Bantic pins Sapanara. Alfie Fry. Hernandez on the right-hand side. Brilliant goal, Tilbury. Tilbury with Lindell Stewart are now level. Great cross and a stunning header. Hats off to Chief Scout Chris Collinson, who finally got the Stewart deal over the line. Stewart was in the camp pre-season, but eventually signed for Dover. But you know football, Chris kept in contact. And when the opportunity arose, he managed to get the promising player into Tilbury. I didn't know that Ray Lindell Stewart's shown good craft here with that header. Delivery is spot on as well. Great belief within this squad at the moment. Two each, a good one for the neutral as well. He's run in front of the defender and there's nothing Basildon can do about that. Good play from Tilbury. Probably deserved to be level in the second half. Looks ominous here for Tilbury. Sub Nidal Berry, one on one with Jack McQueen but pulls his shot wide. Another chance for Nidal Berry on his own. Ghosts pass Fry, only the keeper to beat. Jamie Reynolds. He should be wearing a cape like Superman. A game-saving tackle from the number 10. We're in the last 10 minutes and it's all Tilbury. Kieran Jones back to Stewart. Bantic heads it down, and Max Spence showing great courage pounces on the loose ball. Spooner shrugs off the attention of Alfie Osborne, drives forwards, slips it to Kieran Jones. Jones' shot is blocked. Lindell Stewart reacts first. Lindell Stewart, through a crowd of players, drives it just inside the post and scores the go-ahead goal with six minutes of normal time on the clock. Comeback teams have done again. They've told me about this Tilbury team and now I've seen it with my own eyes. They never give up. Great stuff from the management and coaching staff because this side never know when they're done. Might cause you to get some grey hairs, but it's a buckle up roller coaster of a watch. In Lindell Stewart, they have another forward who make his own goals. They've got some goal scorers in that Tilbury jersey. Thanks to Roy and Big Sam for coming down. Next game up for Tilbury Ilford away in the BBC Essex Senior Cup. That's this Wednesday night at Cricklefields. Make sure you like and subscribe, you know it makes sense. <laughs>